it's time for another quick bite. So Katie is in the kitchen telling us all about using up that garden garden produce. Yeah. And we have our last segment featuring all that garden produce. And what better way to end than with Nebraska corn. Exactly. Right? Yep. Are you a corn fan? Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> so I could eat corn on the cob every mm -hmm. day, all day. Um, but I know that it just comes a point when yeah, I might get a little bit bored of it. Or um, you may actually take and, and do you cut yeah. corn off the cob? Do you guys do that and freeze it? I know. Not really. Not really. I, I, I like know it on the cob. People. I do too. I do too. <laughs> but we are utilizing some corn today yes. and we are going to make Mexican street corn and if you've never had this before which actually this is a new recipe to me um, wow I was kind of blown away by this so I love this so we are gonna take about four cups of corn in a skillet with um, about a tablespoon or so of butter and really just let this um, kind of melt through and um, cook the corn so that's what we're doing right now and so we're gonna let this just kind of cook a little bit and I'm gonna talk about some of the other ingredients that we're going to use here. So um, one of the ingredients that we are going to use is actually, have you seen this before? I don't think so. You've never seen this before. <laughs> okay, so this is a Mexican cheese. It's actually called Cotija cheese. And um, you find this um, in the grocery store kind of by like, um, the hot dogs and okay. that type of thing, but this is the kind of the what makes this recipe okay. so delightful. So <laughs> we are heating our corn through, and we're going to get to that cotija uh, co cheese here in just a second. But the Mexican street corn does have a little bit of creaminess to it, and the creaminess is going to come from about a quarter of a cup of sour cream. So um, this is going to be melted through. It's going to be nice and hot and sizzling, and we are going to add about a quarter of a cup of sour cream and if you know me I'm an ish unless you're baking <laughs> baking does not work an ish so we're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of um, sour cream we're gonna mm. add a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise I like to use the olive oil mayonnaise just for some different types of uh, fat benefits okay we are going to take a lime and we're gonna juice the lime so one lime and we're gonna add the juice if you just have lime juice in your refrigerator gosh that works as well and it's gonna be about two tablespoons but fresh lime kind of makes it mm -hmm. so we're going to um, add the lime we are going to add some chili powder and some cumin as well so you're gonna take the chili powder and add that in and we're gonna just mix this together then, as this is mixed together, we are going to take the cheese, and if you're unfamiliar with it, it is a very crumbly cheese, oh, yeah. okay? So it looks like a solid block right here. Yeah. And then you open it, and it kind of crumbles like feta. Wow. Okay. And this is what the Mexican street corn usually, like if you see corn, mm -hmm. um, it is going to have the crumbles on it. So we're gonna crumble this cheese up just like that and then it's gonna melt and it's gonna melt and it's gonna make it nice and creamy so we're gonna continue to stir that together with the um, chili powder and the cumin and then after this is all melted together you would want to transfer it to a 9 by 13 pan and really just bake it off at the end okay. for just a little bit to, to con continue to let it all kind of mesh together but this is great flavor a great side dish but also wonderful to serve with some chips oh, kind of as okay. like a chip dip yeah so um, it does take a little bit of time probably about 15 minutes to cook in the oven and definitely want to make sure that it is just being um, cooked in, through on the stovetop as well. Mm -hmm. But just a simple way to add some uh, zest and jazz to Nebraska corn. Exactly. Yes. I, I think it's the cheese I'm smelling. It is. It, it already smells It good. is definitely the cheese, and it is the uh, winning ingredient, I would say, with that. All right. So, yes, try it out if you've never tried it before. Thank you so much. Yes. We'll be right back. 